Well, uh, I figured I ought to show you my favorite Alembic. I think the best Alembic I've ever owned in all these years. I've been using them religiously since 1978. They've never let me down. I've never had a dog in the bunch, but this one I ordered uh, a couple of years ago. And it was kind of the culmination of all my years of experience with the different woods and different uh, neck laminate combinations and circuits. And uh, this to me is the greatest bass ever. It is just fantastic. It's the body shape is a three quarter size scorpion. I had it made with a smaller upper horn, didn't need to have a real big one. Um, it's a coca bolo top and back. It's got a mahogany core. And then I go for the little hippie pinstripes in there uh, for my laminates uh, for accents. The neck is kind of a crucial thing on this one. Uh, I did have uh, all my laminates made a little smaller so I could cut down on some of the weight of the really heavy, uh, you know, hardwoods that are in here. But we've got three purple heart, two ebony, and then I had to make the, the neck with the uh, flame maple throughout. So it's a beautiful neck. It's a, a great wood combination for, for tone and for sustain. And it still keeps it relatively light. Ebony fingerboard has the tulip shaped uh, terminus to the uh, fingerboard. As a traditional Alembic headstock with the inlaid logo and uh, beveled edges on the top. Uh, abalone inlays, of course, and uh, it's got the heart omega. And the circuit on this one is a signature circuit, which I find the most easy to use. Uh, it sounds fantastic on stage. It's uh, great for recording. And it's basically just a volume pan and uh, two uh, tones with your two cue switches. And of course, I've got my green LEDs. I like the green because uh, uh, some of the other colors can be a bit blinding if you're coming out on a dark stage and there's absolutely no light. Uh, blue, for example, can be really distracting uh, while you're playing. So I find the green to be easier on the eyes and still very visible for use uh, in the dark. Um, this bass just has amazing sustain and tone. It records unbelievably well. Live, it, it just shakes the room. It has amazing low end, a great low B. The string volumes are perfect. They're all identical. And uh, it just, just has a great fundamental, great uh, slap tone. But, you know, I can duplicate the sound of many different instruments if I want to get kind of a Jocko thing going. sound like a P bass. You can easily do that. Roll up. Get a little bit. Depending on what you want to get, this bass pretty much can duplicate most of what's out there as far as tone, but I still love pure Alembic tone to me. tone, great feel, and it's a well-balanced bass, but this is 
the absolute best alembic I've had out of almost 90 instruments I've owned since uh, 1978. Uh, this is the creme de la creme, and uh, I'm sure my next one I get will be fantastic as well, but uh, it'll have to go a long ways to beat this one. Thanks.